This week's episode of the Deck Chair and Yums podcast is brought to you by Boys. It's for charity. What are you talking about? <laughs> Welcome to the Deck Chair and Yums podcast <laughs> for the very special episode here today. You're getting to see a behind the scenes look at uh, the massacre that's going to occur next week. Um, we have both opponents here ready to to do their press conference. I think this, this will go down on record as the last time Mark McCarney was seen alive. <laughs> King Kearney, you're my turf now, boys. <laughs> we you're are. not allowed uh, back. Speaking of turf, you'll be covered in it. It was all week. right for a while, but now you're not, your days is numbered. You're a ghost to me, Mickey Bartlett. <laughs> you're a ghost. You always <laughs> wore that I'm complexion, sorry. but all you're just a, you're a shadow all, yourself. All, all I can hear is a whisper <laughs> now, this is, from this, the past. Here's the my problem. time travel back to one time McCarney this was alive. This is my town. Aye. You don't come <laughs> rattling my town. <laughs> From Vinegar Lane to Carley Bridge. This is mine. Where were you when the chapel needed a new roof? Nowhere. When Daisley Eights was fucking serving their burgers, where were you? And you come in here and you think you're going to take over. You'll, <laughs> you'll do nothing. This is mine. King Kearney's. You can stay, but you're out. <laughs> now, I was going to sit as mediator between the two of you now, and we decided against that, but I think we made a sh- we should. Yeah. There's not enough ballroom going on here. <laughs> ah, <geez. laughs> so if you're listening to this, uh, you're, not, you're, time you're, <laughs> you're not getting to see the full val- uh, value of it, so you should have been a patron. Uh, I have left have... these gloves off since they had turkey dinner, personal. <laughs> All the time. Even when I'm sleeping. <laughs> now, I don't want to scare you, but the word prodigy has been thrown around in the gym. <laughs> Why, were they playing their song on the radio or something? Apparently I'm a South. Oh, are you, are you oh. left-handed? No. See what I mean? Fuck, I didn't know that. Prodigy. Muhammad Ali, did I? That's it. Breathe. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, right? More like. I'm, all <laughs> I'm half horned. I'm so excited about so. the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So the only way I could describe for, for for our listeners who can't see what's going on, so let me describe what's happening here. So we have our two opponents um, oiled up, greased up, greased up, oiled up, and in their uh, in their fighting gear. Well, you know, one is coming. I'm fighting gear. Top. No need to. Whenever your muscular, it's got to it match your out. nose. Mickey Heavy Flow Bart- Bartlett. Can you say your name? That's how little you mean to me. <laughs> Mickey Francis Bartlett, whatever it is. I will. You're you, nothing to me. You were one time. You word one time. You, no, uh, this you, is, uh, the, the whole point of this point, like I said at the start, it's for charity. You're not supposed to be falling out. You're not supposed right. to be having rows. Which is handy because you'd be coming on every, charity. Well, everyone anyways. was saying if he was six foot under, it would be a charity. <laughs> you get this bad. You've been mouthing for far too long, Mickey. And the, the, the chickens have come home to roost. <laughs> Well, this is the tension. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting the, the tension to be so soon. I thought we might have discussed maybe strategies, how you're going to deal with things. I want to talk to you first of all about your training camps and how things have been going. So I'm going to, McCartney, we've heard about Mickey's nearly every week. Well, I went to the Himalayas for two weeks. <laughs> right. And I've been just running up and down the mountain ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking about with skipping ropes. What are you? An ovary? I've been, I've been bleeding blood, sweat and tears. <laughs> From Christmas Day, <laughs> and I've just been—I don't even like the, the, the bo- fucking shite. I just be—I don't want to see it at the dig. <laughs> there were rumours now that you were seen carrying a couple of pensioners through a field as part of your couple training of calves? regime. Calves, calves, maybe it was. See, I have, have, I have spies with you? and your Patreon. Oh, 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 I, oh, I, know, oh. I know it all, boys. Oh, he's been listening. He's been watching. That sore rib and everything. I knew way before that. Oh, uh-huh. see, this I is you had so right before I got hit in the rib. Mickey, so, Mickey yeah. has unfortunately uh, not not playing the game in that sense by revealing that he has maybe a weak side. I wouldn't say about <laughs> the two of them are fucking weak side. <laughs> yeah. The only fucking weak side to use your, your backside. I wasn't good. Is that a rape joke or what is that? <laughs> no, no, no. Just talk about you. All you're right, weak, take it easy, Jimmy. You, you, you see, <laughs> he needs to be put down. If he's let go any further, he, there's going to be a Sunday world. Documentary or whatever them hooers do nowadays, <laughs> and they go, "Thank Christ, McCarney put that man down." <laughs> if Jimmy Savile had got a suck on the teeth, he mightn't have touched them children. I think he did get a suck on the teeth. I have that's wrong. Maybe they didn't have teeth, but anyway. <laughs> So, oh, uh, oh my God. that's well. I mean, uh, and the training camp has been going well, but I mean, you've you've, you've been flat out, isn't it? Like you have been, obviously, as we can see, you're you're in quite good shape. Would you? I'm not, I'm not joking. I've near lost a stone. Good man. I can't see through these fucking glasses. <laughs> well, that'll get you prepared for next week. 
When he... Oh, hey, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm You're just mad. saying, in case he might right. close your eye, you know what I mean? You used to lose a few of your You're senses. You're all right for a while now. You have no sense of taste, being anybody there. Me and Tim Gellar. All your taste <laughs> leather. These boys to the street. <laughs> we were just saying last week, you aren't welcome here anymore. <laughs> and go down to Jack's coffee shop, two big celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> I, there's nothing better, right? We went last week and we got a, a coffee and the woman took a photograph and then after she put up... After we paid for it, by the way. Didn't get a yeah. free cup of tea. Fuck then she put up... Fuck no, a shithole town. Well, then you had good... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it now. Cut it out. The, you don't uh, shit. <laughs> you don't shit where another man shits. <laughs> Well, the, the, the people of Fintona were, were not happy because they put on a, a, quite a few posts underneath because she said two celebrities joined us in Jack's Coffee Shop yeah. today and a lot of, I assume, Fintonians went, who the fuck are they? Uh, no, well, they were all my accounts that I put on. <laughs> on your bots? And I got all the screenshots and I was like, fucking <coughs> Jack's Coffee Shops is excommunicated oh, from no. Fintona. Oh, no. Was there an embargo on it? They're going to get kneecaps through the letter box tomorrow morning. <laughs> They have no more affiliation to you. No, Connor's all right. But you. <laughs> You're a tramp, Mickey Bartlett. No, no, no. we got to keep it fair now. we got to keep it... No, that's not, you know... Don't uh, ever come down past the bally golly around the bit again without my permission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised at the anger. I'm not surprised. I mean, the, the, we, we've seen on social media there has been a lot of back and forth. And we've seen that, you know... I, I, the golden rule would normally be, you know, you leave your ma's out of it. There's no anger here, Connor. That's fair. It's like me being angry at the wind. It's nothing. It's nothing to me. You've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, been angry at the wind before. I've you, seen you. No, I you still you. outside your front door going, fuck me, that's why I'm bluffing no, I'm going back in. Clouds. <laughs> clouds are different. <laughs> you've no idea what you've been first. You feel that breeze beside your nose. That's my arm. I'm going that fast, it doesn't even look like I'm moving. That's how hard I've been training. <laughs> no, you're nothing to me, Mickey. You're a corpse. You're a walking corpse. So much show. This episode now, I'm taking over. Go on ahead. Go on ahead. It's, it's quite alright. It's, it's, it's fight time. Go on, use your head. Work away there. <laughs> He's got a bag of tricks here. Stick that. that up there in the thing. I <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> so we have a picture. Oh my god! We have a picture frame of uh, that's phenomenal. <laughs> Jesus and Mickey. That cost me six hundred and fifty pound. <laughs> Both of whom uh, may be resurrected. <laughs> we don't know. I got up a sick. I've laughed that hard. <laughs> I got holy water. There's holy water here. The Pope himself spitting this. I got it shipped over from the Vatican. <laughs> ah, you've been smoking. Smoking. He's fucking drinking it now. Oh, that's it. He's drank the holy water. That's like a vampire hundred kilos. That's, it's like Alter Boy's tears. <laughs> and you've tea, you've t- oh, t- tea and China from this good- is now Mickey Bartlett's wake. <laughs> And there's none for you because you're a corpse. You don't give tea to a corpse. (laughs) There's a holy candle. (laughs) What deck of the rosary do you want to do? I'll do the second one. Hey? Uh. I couldn't even start one. Where hello? Oh my god! Here you go. Oh. <laughs> so we have cups and saucers, a holy candle lit, and yeah, now we have actually. Rough. That's actual flask. That's actual fucking flask of tea. Oh, yeah. That's a flask. Oh, you fucking gloves about. Holy Jesus. Don't you speak. You're dead. You're a corpse. <laughs> so we got hot water. <sighs> He's got milk and sugar. <laughs> Do you want egg and onion or. Sandwiches. Egg and onion oh. or uh, or chicken and stuffing. <laughs> I think chicken and stuffing. There you go, right. chicken and stuffing. There you go. Nev, oh. egg and onion it out. You oh. take sugar? No sugar. I've only the, the, the diet milk. Is that alright? No. I might die laughing before oh. the fucking fight. Oh. And there's oh foxes too. Biscuit selection. They're not that bad. Take an old fucking. 
All right, well, I'm cutting weight. You're right. Quit <laughs> <laughs> late now. Quit <laughs> huh? late now. What is your measurements, anyway? Uh, 34 double day, I think. The Bring Pat McAtee there. He's the boy who does the coffins. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a measuring tape, but I can't find it. <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> He was a good old skin, but wasn't he? Oh, hello. Was I'm sweating? I've laughed at her. Mark, he was a good old fella. Now he was no one. Do you have any good stories of your time with Mickey? I've opened a book of condolences, <laughs> and it'll be interred at uh, Friar Tux and Lurgan from next week on. And uh, if you want to come, saying uh, you're more than welcome. Friar Tux is closed down. Yeah. Oh, we're reopening the whole thing. We're so happy to see you gone. <laughs> Oh, that's delightful. So, <coughs> the, the book and the condolences are going to have to put in. You want sugar? <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. No, I don't take sugar in my tea. But I take tea in my tea. I give you the flask, sir. Aye, but it's just water. <laughs> I would. Oh, wig tea. Oh, Jesus, I've got the tea bags for fuck's sake. See, your mind's not on it. That's it, man. Wig tea, wig punches. Here, just fucking throw that around and it'll put a little bit of flavour in it. I got all flustered and excited oh. about the thought of you six foot under. <laughs> Do you want cremated or what way do you want it done? <laughs> so I don't the, even like I'll egg and onion, the but I'm going to do it pretentiously. <laughs> what other way is there to eat egg and onion sandwich? Hmm. <laughs> the last time I'll see you, Mickey. And uh, he was a decent old oh, fella. He was grand. I was just saying to my own podcast, you know, he was the first man who took me on tour with him. Mm-hmm, that's right, all right. And you know what? You don't feel right killing like, anybody. But as the book of Job tells us, <laughs> do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. <laughs> That's the New Testament. As Jesus came into Galilee and said, Thy Mickey Bartlett will come. <laughs> as Jesus came into Galilee and he. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty one God says, Speak to some of the earth. Flatten thy whore. <laughs> Powerful words. Powerful <laughs> words. <laughs> and the words of your damnation. <laughs> Please tell me you can do this for an hour. <laughs> of me stand, my boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was Bravo. superb. Bravo, that's fucking... <laughs> oh, you've seen nothing yet. <laughs> you've seen nothing yet. Right, we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm if the sweating, prepara- I'm sweating <laughs> sitting here, how the fuck am I going to fight? If the preparation is at that level just oh for that God. bit, and then, and if the same thing applies to your fighting, Mickey, you're fucked. <sighs> oh my! <laughs> I've told you already. <laughs> Dana the Ruth over here. Hmm? It, uh, <laughs> oh. Well, it was nice knowing you, Michael, and it's a shame because I always said you were the best stand-up this country will ever see. And now you've been the best stand-up ever seen down under. <laughs> well, you've planned to go down under. That's uh-huh. shrewd, that. <coughs> is there refunds in them flights, or what way does that work? <laughs> oh, fuck. I can't believe I forgot the day bags. That's your fault again. <laughs> I, hey, see when I was a cub, I was bullied senselessly. <laughs> and I done nothing, because I was wild civil. And see you night. I'm not even going to see you. <laughs> The face of every whore that's ever wronged me. <laughs> the old dog forgetting to put in the tea bags and all, everything. <laughs> the old dog forgetting to put the tea bags in. <laughs> it's going an amalgamation of your face. <laughs> oh my God. I have, Mr. McCarney, I, I have been uh, 41 years on this planet. Uh-huh. And I have what other yet, planet you on? Uh, <laughs> I've been on Mars for a while <laughs> previously. What's the weather like? That's oh, it's hot. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and I've never, ever... Seen anybody drink out of the Virgin Mary before? No, oh, you haven't lived. You haven't lived. <laughs> How do you think I got my powers? You know the way she showed herself to them three children? The, uh, Fatima? Speaking of I've knock. been speaking away to her this past two and a half weeks. I've done six months through in this past week and a half. <laughs> Where to put me glasses? Oh, oh my god. god. It's a wild thing we're at, but it's for the goodness of humankind. <laughs> because you, you need it, Mickey. <laughs> you do need to down a peg or two. I love you. God, I do love you. 
But it's just, I consider it like an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> I love you the bits, but just can't handle you right now. <laughs> I might regret it, but who knows? The world's not in the right frame of mind for you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's legal. And when it, well, hey, when it's legal and you have a chance, fucking go. <laughs> Mark the coat hanger McCarney. <laughs> <laughs> I take no pride in it, but you know, neither did Bin Laden, but it had to be done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh my God. Man. So uh, is this a, are you sponsored by Lucas 8 Sport? I'm sponsored by Lucas 8 Sport. I was just saying to you, that's the only fluid I've been taking now since Christmas. Uh, I put it in instead of milk, that's what I use for my tea and for my cornflakes. And it's nice for the wee bit of garnish. <laughs> <laughs> you ever eat parsley? <laughs> I've been eating wild health these past while. I never knew iceberg lettuce was a thing. <laughs> oh, fuck, I have a sore head now. Uh, no, I've been eating very well, actually. Right? Uh huh. Just the two packs of McCoy's crisps now. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I've wrecked me good. Come and listen, would there be. Would it be. Uh, you're obviously in the celibate period at the moment, like you're not. No sex before the fight and all that, crack. Oh, well, I knew that about two years ago. <laughs> I knew something was on the horizon. You talk about talking to clouds, I knew there was something coming. I it just wasn't, knew. And it wasn't you. <laughs> there, was, <laughs> there was a reason that I wasn't supposed to spread my seed for a while. Because if I got some doll pregnant, oh, Jesus I'd right. have to leave the country. And then I wouldn't be here to do this. It's a public service you're doing, really, if you think about it. Most fertile man in Ireland. And I'm taking the. Don't even look at sport. No, you're dead on, thank you. <laughs> And uh, I assume there's no, you can't read tea leaves because there's no tea bags, but uh, can you tell Mickey's future from the bottom of that cup? It's as, the, I can tell his future. That is like, that's what's going to be running out of Mickey piss. <laughs> It'll be running out of his hole. A straight line, not even a bead, just straight down. What the fuck are you going to do to me? I'm going to hit you so hard up the anus. <laughs> You're going to take spina bifida in your skull. You've no idea. I've been in the, hey, the boys. Are you, I can't wait for you to meet my trainers. They can't believe where I've been this lifetime. This, where have you been? You could be the next Tyson Fury. And I says I was waiting for my age to match my waistline before a fucking. I've been. I'm inventing moves and everything. You're the haymaker. Uh-huh. I'm the post driver. <laughs> <laughs> Just top of the head. <laughs> Post driver. <laughs> You've no idea, Mickey, what you're in for. No idea. Oh, fuck. It's not going to be nice. It's not going to be pretty now. People are going to ask for refunds. From a charity, it's going to be that horrendous of a watch. <laughs> I agree with that, but... Hmm? I agree with that, Holy like you'll be looking at the soles of your own feet. Did you ever think it possible? There we are. It's not the other crack, anyway. <laughs> it's like Peter Kay when he's on the last Parkinson. Do you remember the I can't remember this quiet in my life. I was just going to say it. I had my fucking mouth. All oh, 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 we needed to do to keep making quiet. Be the links <laughs> Now I know you're supposed to be dead and you're not supposed to speak. If you want the rest no, of that sandwich. You, right. is, that, is that Africa? See, back with the racism. I told you! <laughs> this is why you need put down. You can't just say things like that anymore. It's 2023, Mickey. <laughs> you're right, Your Mark, racism I, I and misogyny <laughs> will not be tolerated anymore. I apologize. <laughs> I'm a freedom fighter. I can't believe we've got the fucking tea bag. <laughs> the hot water's still hot now, fair enough, but... Yeah, you're give that man the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> don't take any of it now, you're a corpse. Corpse don't take sugar. I'll take some sugar for my water. <laughs> yeah, you want a, you want a biscuit? Oh my god. Oh. I can't fucking see it, right? <laughs> I, I have never... Thought there would be an episode oh. that would so badly need to be seen on video, <laughs> and this is it. So if you're listening to this, I'm sorry, but you need to see. <laughs> <of you. laughs> 
where the fuck even sells disposable cameras anymore? I bulk buy it about 20 years ago because I knew they were going out. <laughs> do we pose for your mother? <laughs> no, I'll do a serious one for the mask yard. There we go. Well, of the mask yard there, that's the front of it. I've all. Agglesville printing services have been flat out a month and a half. Oh, you can also get them at Friar Tucks or a pound each. They go to charity as well. That picture has to be. Uh... That has to go up on the wall if we had a wall to put it on. <laughs> so how's your training been going, Mickey? <laughs> it's been alright, I. <laughs> well, no, I. Uh... Did you steal my glasses? Where's <laughs> my fucking glasses? Oh, there they are. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, my apologies, they're down that other side. <laughs> but still, you should have told me they were there! You fucking wanker. Jeez, I can't wait the next Saturday, I swear to God. I swear to Christ. What are you eating beforehand? I don't know, actually. Super noodles? I would, I'd say you should probably eat something you can chew, because come the Sunday, I'm humble liquids. I wasn't Do you like your hospital room windy or windy lish? Eh? <laughs> hey? What do you think? <laughs> Long as on the ground floor, I'll have you love. <laughs> Where do you get vertigo? <laughs> I'm so lazy. You'll be happy enough buried deep down six foot, will you? You'll have to go in sideways, hey, because I'm just going to split you in the middle. <laughs> the post driver. <laughs> the post driver. Well, you know what? We should have the fight and fitness cemetery. Just to cut the same time. <laughs> I'm getting buried in fitness as well. Oh, well, I want to come somewhere every morning to piss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking about Mickey. This is my day to shine. You may think I'm soft, I'm no fucking soft. Mate. You see that? I could have killed you there, I could have killed you. Well. <laughs> Oh, sweet fuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, 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 I have never been, seen both of us speechless before. <laughs> I am, I've never <laughs> laughed that hard in my fucking life. Enjoy your time now, fuck buddy. Me. Enjoy your time now. You, and your life so far. You signed your soul away the day you agreed to this. Uh, are you a religious person, Mickey? <laughs> no, I'm not. not. Well, that's good. Well, there's no with the Holy Ghost. There's a dark hole you're going, you're not going to like it. Would you like being raped by the devil? <laughs> 18 hours a day, Hitler just... You go down, going to be there. Eh? Oh. Oh. I have no problem going to hell, if it means you're coming with me. <laughs> a tree can't grow to heaven unless he's got roots in hell. <laughs> <coughs> Tell me, Mark, uh, in regards to the jewellery then, so this... This, this is has been passed down. Uh-huh. My ancestors were gypsies. Right. Fighting paper. Uh-huh. Bare knuckle, uh, uh-huh. 16 inch gloves boxing. <laughs> huh? We hit so hard, we built houses. <laughs> That's how hard we are. You have no idea, Mickey. You have no idea. You don't even know where I come from. <laughs> you know, you met me, what, four or five years ago? I think it's closer to ten. In a past life. <laughs> Did you ever see John Wick? <laughs> Is that the PT fella? <laughs> <laughs> he, sells, he sells candles in the market, I <laughs> Well, I had a CD underbelly of a life. <sighs> what CD is that? Yeah. <laughs> Space Girls Wannabe. Good a one. Great song. What was your first CD? Was Space Girls Wannabe? Why? Uh, how'd you know that? Because eh? I do you? my homework, Mickey. <laughs> I know everything. He's every been researching move you every. Make, yeah, he knows all your weaknesses. I know. Oh, he knows if he I, pops I've on. Been doing me research, I swear to God, Mickey. If he sticks on two becomes one, he knows you fucking melt. Oh, I. and two will become one next week. Because that there's just gonna go up your anus. And I'm gonna work it like I'm trying to eat noodles. <laughs> and your whole arse guts is gonna fall out. Arse <laughs> guts. <laughs> It's not going to be pretty. I pity the people in the audience, that's the truth. Now, I've done many a ropey gig and I've pitied them plenty of times, uh, uh, but I pity them. But well, there was no arse guts in any of your other gigs. It's just this one. Not that I've seen. <laughs> but you're going to see, I'm going to be front row centre of this. 
You know, I worked two weeks, no mabiter. <laughs> <laughs> and I met a foreign guy called Jorge. And he showed me, he didn't even use a knife. Hey, he was that good. He just used to take a carcass of a cow and go, and the skin just fell off it. He was incredible. He taught me everything I know. Oh, he was a horny. Oh, and I've been talking away to Barry McGuigan. The cloner say clone meets the fint in a frenzy. And we're starting a box. And now I'm done with comedy. <laughs> this is who I am now. The King Kearney. We're putting on fight. I'll kill Kear Frampton. I'll not fight him. I'll kill him. <laughs> For what he done to that great man. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Oh, oh. Boxing's in me blood. Sorry. And it's Manslaughter quite, is in me blood. It's been quite a transformation, Mark, because, I mean, it's, it's as you say, it's been about a week and a half. Um, Six months later than a week and a half. <laughs> but the changes has been, it's, 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 uh, the aggression is, is mm-hmm. probably the most shocking part of it. Yeah, well, steroids will do that. <laughs> But I take them in rice cake form. (laughs) (laughs) Snack a wax. (laughs) Right, so we're gonna have to. (laughs) Boys, I can't. Mickey and Jesus, uh, what a combination! I'd stay in there forever. That's fucking amazing. Ever and ever. Amen. So listen, Glad what you I do- like it, Mickey. Because you, you know you should. Your last couple of days on Earth should be enjoyable. What have you got planned now for the next lot of days? Not an awful lot. Have man. you your affairs in order? <laughs> I'm only having the one of them now. Can I have your PlayStation games? <laughs> I bought a PS5 just to calm down. Because all day I'm fucking fuck. After I had to vent myself and play Red Dead Redemption, <laughs> hunt rabbits for an hour just to keep me. If I didn't, I fuck. Here, McKenna, you'd look good in an Audi TT. Eh? You'd look good in an Audi TT. Well, once I get a vagina, I'll, I'll probably take a look at it. <laughs> well, once I start taking the time of the month. <laughs> yeah, vagina, like something like punch your cock up into your body. Like uh, a- have you looked at this? I walk past it there and see the wing mirror. <laughs> the wing mirror's in Temple. That's not mine. Eh? <laughs> that wasn't mine. <laughs> There's cream in the front seat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's else going to be? Oh, that's the girlfriend. <laughs> what, the bottle of cream? <laughs> right, well, just on that, I, I, I went just because I, try, I tried to get artificial intelligence because there's no actual here, so it'll be helping you speak AI? on the and, uh, Yeah, I went for AI. AI? So, AI? There's a boy AI? down the road, does he? AI? AI? Cows. <laughs> Puts his hand in. And he goes, that's a deep fake there. <laughs> Big money in artificial insemination. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe a career you could think so. of after with one arm. <laughs> you could have the tube of semen in your teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deep fake and heifers all over the place. <laughs> so what I did, Mark, was I just I used the, the chat. Hold on, I can't see you. My glasses are all steamed up. Don't get them for you. <laughs> what are you saying? I used the AI chatbot to, to come up with some things for today. Like, for instance, I typed in, describe a person who owns an Audi TT. All uh, right, right. And the AI answer was, it is not possible to describe the personality of someone based solely on the car they own. People of various personalities, professions, and lifestyles can own an Audi TT. However, the Audi TT is often associated with individuals who value luxury, sportiness, and performance in a compact and stylish package. See, Mickey, That's exactly the, what I am. Even the robots know you're pathetic. <laughs> There, a toaster just called you an embassy. A vain embassy. A microwave. Are you going to take that from a microwave? <laughs> Mark, I asked him. I, I asked Put away that old voodoo. Asked, we don't do technology down this part of the world. Well, I asked him. There's a wishing well down the road. It'll, go. It'll tell you what's your future. I asked him to explain, explain cultures to city people. Right. And it said, Colchis is a term used in Ireland to describe people from rural areas as opposed to those from cities. The term is often used in a light-hearted or teasing manner, but can also carry a negative connotation. It's important to note that the use of this term can vary depending on the context and the person using it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, that is a derogatory term. Aye. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I was that's saying. I wrote in, how do fat men escape from tunnels? Right. 
now because it's just a, just for future <coughs> reference I didn't know in case did I say a divorce what's right did I say a divorce was this your question there's no hiding <laughs> Mickey this, it was for you Mick. all right my fat no fat men can escape from tunnels by carefully crawling or walking through a tunnel taking breaks as needed <laughs> <laughs> and seeking assistance if necessary if the tunnel is too narrow for them to move through comfortably they may need to turn sideways or crawl on their hands and knees to get through it's also important for them to stay calm Take deep breaths to prevent getting stuck or having a panic attack. If they're unable to escape on their own, they should call for help and wait for emergency personnel to assist them. So there you are. There you are. And that's what you do if you're stuck in a tunnel and you're fat. According are you AI. planning to dig a tunnel to get away from all this? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Who are you talking are to you? me? <laughs> you? No point trying to dodge now. You so can see your fate coming down like, like a steam train. <laughs> so I asked them to create a limerick about Mark. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. So this is what they came up with for Mark. <laughs> so are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> there once was a man named Mark with a smile that could light up the park. He'd walk with a spring and good humour would bring, making everyone feel like a lark. What do you think I, I was, as well as boxing, I've been doing uh, singing lessons uh-huh. for your funeral right. profession. There once was a man named Mickey. <laughs> he was an awful sad man. He once got a punch in the ring. He cried, he cried all the way home. Now, it doesn't rhyme. <laughs> but the, the doll tells me it's about keeping the notes. Not about keeping rhythm. When are you going to start doing that? What? What? The day before. <laughs> Take a rest day. So anyway, I... I, I walk out that I, last I, Oh, I... You, you start singing that out to the fuck, as you're walking to the ring, according to Michael, I'll just give it the full... So anyway, the last question I asked the, the AA was, was Jerry Adams in the RA? Well, you don't need to ask a robot that. But. Well, the robot said, yes, Jerry Adams was a member of the Irish <laughs> Republican Army. <laughs> he was a key figure in the political wing of the Irish Sinn Féin and was president of the party from 1983 to 2018. So even AI knows that he was in the RA. Oh, he fucking does. That's one of them dirty DUP <laughs> robots. It means nothing. The squirrel in the bushes, no? <laughs> they see it all. Did you ever see the video of Jerry hugging the three with Tony Blair? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I came up in the research, I was looking for you, <laughs> losers in the woods. Um, the <laughs> There's a video of, of Jerry Adams hugging an oak tree. Right. And he thinks it's great for grounding you. Uh-huh. People should walk through fields more barefooted. Right. right. But he was also strapping, was he was strapping a bomb to the back of the tree. Like. Look, yin and yang, Mickey, you can't have it, you have to have a wee bit of both. Like. Uh-huh. It's like me there, uh-huh. very peaceful. I've got rosary beads and everything. Not come next week. See, you hear that? <laughs> I once hit a boy in fifth year, and he had a restart first year. <laughs> <laughs> I hit so hard, Mickey. You're gonna have to do the eleven plus again. I think you the eleven plus. <laughs> well, thank me then. <laughs> it's wild hard. I didn't get it. <laughs> Okay, I don't so know what this all was about, uh, boys. This this, you one this press conference has been quite the event, uh, Mickey. We're, we want to sort of come to you in your training camp, and uh-huh. uh, I mean, obviously, you, it's, even from the laughter, your your ribs are hurting. Yes. So your training has been quite intense. Yeah. Good. So that <laughs> you do it in the tent. <laughs> well, it's more of a gazebo. Conservatory. <laughs> Marquee. <laughs> no. Yeah, tell tell uh, us all, but tell, tell me all of your training process. Nothing, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, Mark. Just been fighting every day. Uh-huh. Uh, athletic men, strong men, men with long arms, men that can hit me quite hard in the ribs. Uh-huh. She and Todd. We don't want to know about your sexual exploits. I'm talking about your fighting. What? Are you all doing? right. Well, just just looking at women then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has an advantage over you in that one. Now, in fairness, like, been an awful you, lot of, you said there's no action. Now. It's been a while. There's been an awful years, lot like, of. Did, did you come? Did you? That's what I've been saying. Uh-huh. Uh, that's mainly it, to be uh-huh. honest with you. Uh-huh. Funny, there was uh, that book of condolences. There was a, I was passing around for a while. Uh-huh. And there was a wee message going, Mickey only ever did usually last one round, then he'd lay down. Aye. That was from Rex for years. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Big girl. Big, big girl. Round bale tied in the middle. Aye. A lovely girl, though. <laughs> I'm going to tongue punch her. <laughs> big round bale tied in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, but a great girl. Just because you're fat doesn't mean you're you're frightening. Well, she was, but uh, but a, gr- a lovely girl. I was chatting her for a good half an hour. 
She said, you're no good. You lay down one pump, that's it. <laughs> oh, I will not be able to look at it. Oh my fucking God, a round bale tied in the middle. That imagery that is incredible. fucking... It's going to stay with me till the day I die, that fucking crack, which is for, for you as well. Oh, yeah, a week and a half. I, next week. <laughs> How am I going to hit him? Like, <laughs> well, I, I think this is... Doing the same thing. <laughs> How is this man going to do that? <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is... Uh, is this the best uh, example of mind games we've ever seen in the boxing? This is incredible. It's, uh... Not, I, it's not only is he my mate, he's my soul, mate. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got your defenses. salt poppy. Salt and pepper poppy. You ever see him? You ever see him, Nick Duff? <laughs> he's a gay, I think he was a YouTuber. Uh-huh. He done one of these like charity boxing matches. Right. Turns out he's brilliant. All right. And he's fucking built like me. You talking about Jack Paul? No, no, but he's <laughs> kind of one of those, kind of one of those boys. No. And everyone's couldn't get over how great he is. A bit like myself. Uh-huh. They were kind of going, Jesus, where did this boy come out of? He's just fucking, he's like, just like the, uh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Look him up, Salt Poppy. I've been watching a lot of fighting now. Uh huh. Do you know Sonny Liston? <laughs> I've heard of him. <laughs> he's not bad now. He's, 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 dead not, now. he's not great now. <laughs> I don't think he's alive now. But... I couldn't believe it. I mean, it takes a lot to make me go, I can't get over that. Tyson Fury mm-hmm. is the same age as myself. That's he right, looks right. 45. He does. Right. He's well weathered. Oh, why? Well, I, I, nothing to do with Mike Tyson either. No, which I recently found. He was it. named mm-hmm. after him. Yeah. There was a video of, of Tyson going. Uh, he uh, Tyson said that if Fury Ty, or if Mike, Mike said if Fury had been at his generation, he'd have beat him. Right? Oh, why would I? Fury would have beat Tyson. Oh, sorry. Oh no, sorry. I thought it went the other way around. No, oh, no, Mike, no. Ty, Mike Tyson Mike said Tyson that. Tyson said he's just being nice. If and he says he was named after me. And uh, he's a great fighter. He, oh, he is a, oh, don't get me wrong, he's a fighter, but he's not going to be fucking Iron Mike in his peak. Like. We can have that discussion, maybe, and, and open that up to listeners and see if people agree, but Jesus, oh. Well, as I've become... I don't, know if go, I don't know how Mike Tyson would do against you, but against Tyson Fury, he'd definitely be... I'd have him bait before we get into the ring. See this here? Uh-huh, that's what I mean, the psychological stuff. Psychological stuff. Psychological stuff. Psychological stuff. I'm after holding you awake. <laughs> I held you awake, Mickey. When you die, there's this, nobody's going to have anything. This will be your first. I suppose it's your first and only wake. I've always wanted to go to my own wake, so thanks very much. I do appreciate it. Stop talking. Corpus don't take. <laughs> talk. So tell me, when do you take out the chest wig then? Does that come off or is that glued on or is that. Oh no, that I came out born like that. <laughs> your mother went heartburn. I came you? out straight like that there. <laughs> Took a rub, rub of pubes with me when I was going out. Bundy jumped out of her. I was always a wild hairy cunt. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, wild. Well. I'm doing a topless too. Do you know that? Are you? Oh, I. You're going to just. You're not going to tell the difference. Gonna, you think you're wearing a black vest anyway? That's, hey, that's you're going to think. You're going to go, where did the bear come out of? <laughs> Who brought a bear to a fight? Speaking of bears, where did you get that coat? <laughs> I skinned the sheep of the way in. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mickey. You have no idea, Mickey. The savagery you're in for. I skinned the sheep in the way. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even freeze it or nothing. I just ripped it to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it over my shoulder. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same to you. I'm going to have you like a carpet. I'm going to have your wee rug in my sitting room. When I come in every morning, I'm going to wipe my feet in your fucking face. <laughs> You've no idea, Mickey. I can just see you sprawled out. <laughs> You've no water. idea. I'm going to put your head in the wall like a deer. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to wipe your feet in my face? <laughs> I have long legs. I'm going to keep this box up. need to stretch. <coughs> Sweet mother Do the sheep of you. fuck. Bleh. <laughs> huh? I used to have sheep and they ran away afraid of me. <laughs> Nothing to do with fighting or anything. But... <laughs> You would hold on too tight. Love's scary sometimes, boys. <laughs> Not all pushing and cushing. <laughs> How is your girlfriend anyway? Will she be lonely after next week? <laughs> hey? 
And, I'll leave uh, her back into the world. That sounded worse. Uh, yeah. My, my yeah. girlfriend will be all right. She's still married to your dad. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> leave my mother out of this. She's a saint. A saint of a woman. Oh my god, Morgan, what day? You haven't, I, I assume now, not like, I've seen it in UFC and other sort of fighting <sighs> things where somebody would slide into somebody else's, you know, the, the, the opponent's girlfriend's DMs. You haven't been doing that, have you? you haven't. Well, they wouldn't fit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a new one. Who's, who's been doing that? There was a UFC fighter who had, uh, that was the way he was getting into the mind of the other way, but telling him that his girlfriend was DMing him. So was that McGregor? Know. I don't know who it was. Your wife's me DMs, not him. It, it was wasn't McGregor. McGregor. Oh, was it? Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. Has that happened with you? No. Has, has Mark's mother been on to you? Is it? No. Apart from that one night on the No, no, no. No. Okay. Yeah. no, I write letters with a feather tip. You dump. <laughs> You're sincerely, Mark. I'm still waiting for. How long does second class post take? <laughs> You probably want to you use. Dump. You, you probably use one of them. It's my open the line to wonder him single. <laughs> I wonder you know. You dump. That's why crude speak, eh? But the Lord is still on my side, Mickey. He is. He is. Because you've got the candle lit for him. I mean, this uh, is, that's all there. Isn't it? Holy candle. This whole thing cost me 180 euro. <laughs> that one, my fuck, it was worth it. <laughs> Can I get some Patreon money for expenses? <laughs> Absolutely, it's the fucking... Oh, I give it... <laughs> so what's the crack with Colin Murphy? How was he last week? <laughs> I, I'm going to say it was a... <laughs> I'm going to say it was a slightly different episode last week than it was this week now, I'm not going to lie. I know damn letters. <laughs> what did Colin say? You about? Yup. Yup. I I don't know, can I? So I'm retired from comedy now. That's then. That's you now, so you're in the full fighting mode. That's me now. Uh -huh. I've found me calling. It took me a couple of years, but I've found uh, it now. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and, you know, but I don't need money. I just do things now for fun. <laughs> and 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 popping over is like Mickey Bartlett is fun to me. <laughs> I take so great pride in it. Who are you who are you looking to fight after me? Then after you. Well, normally what happens after say you're you're talking, you know, Madison Square Garden would be the next step for you naturally. But I mean, no, Eccleville well, Centre was Center probably. Eccleville Centre is ah, right. So now. I take great strength from the horses around me. <laughs> Stallions. <laughs> I go out, Mickey, every morning at six o'clock, and I just talk to the animals because there's a sense with me. They can see that I'm one of their sp spirit animals, kinder spirits. <laughs> one of your patronums. <laughs> the wee goats. <laughs> wee wee goats. <laughs> You ever see a goat kick? <laughs> Me and it's been practicing. <coughs> you. you ever see a suck calf fighting? <laughs> Dying of the roof in the hard quarter? Yeah, I'm telling you, Mickey, it's oh just going to a sad end. <laughs> sad, sad end. But you know, you had a good <laughs> life. <laughs> You had a fair old run now. You know, you, you did, you, you got your turn about in Dubai and Australia. I never got, uh, I haven't even been the length of Gavin. <laughs> was the flash on there, was it? Yeah, I think you had to hide oh it down, God. would you? You had to hide it down and wait for the light to come on. <laughs> Which is what'll happen. You know, it was a decent enough old life. You never got out of Lurgan, but that's, you know... What can you do with that? But his mother was well proud of him. You know, his mother that's was not always true. proud of him. That's actually not true. That's true, guys. She's not really that proud of you. She's not she's very she's proud not, of you. She's not not proud of you. <laughs> Would uh, your father like you? Nah. No. He doesn't get it. Shouldn't <laughs> like you, Bresford. <laughs> and you have. Huh? Well, Several uh, times. Look, let's not Remember be, that first tour? Let's not Tell be digging up, digging up the past. <laughs> oh, that's how you got the fucking gig on. Let's not digging up the past. Now's now. <laughs> But I know, I... This has been the best day of my oh, life. That's fucking unreal. <laughs> my father's a fear to me now. Uh-huh. I mean, the poor man, he can't even eat right now. He's eating hot press. <laughs> <laughs> He's afraid what's coming through the door every night at 7 o'clock. Pure aggression. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> I broke every remote in the house. <laughs> From pure pressure squeezing. If I had a woman, her tits would be ripped off long ago. With just adrenaline. 
Ah. <laughs> I'll put her bra on the sunder. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mickey, I'm actually, I'm afraid for you. <laughs> uh, two weapons here, like. I may as well have two sawn-off shotguns in each other. <laughs> <laughs> two lethal weapons. Uh, Fucking rig, uh, rigs and murtaugh. Do you <laughs> accidentally hold up the post office last week? <laughs> <laughs> you just went in to get a birthday card. So they're all fucking it. closed now. There's nobody there. Have you read the will? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. No. Can I have your PlayStation games right <laughs> Yeah, now? I have. Oh, good man. <laughs> Last of Us? Aye. Oh, I had to bring it, fuck. Um, <sighs> we, everybody should... Have you a will, Rit? No. You definitely should, like. Uh, I would. Ah, yeah, well, statistically, <laughs> statistically, I would need one. Because I could elbow you in the way out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Connor. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've done it again. <laughs> another, another fatality. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was fond of him, too. <laughs> oh, I don't know, boys. It's, it's, it's actually a sorrowful time. <laughs> no, because there's going to be a rip. In the comedy scene after this, uh-huh. oh, there's, there's going to be, be a d- hard feelings. There's going to be partition. Nickies. There will be a partition of some sort after this. Now, in fairness, okay, there's there's a tenseness in the air. Yeah, and there's going to be a wee, there's a couple of uh, there's nothing more fragile than a comedian's ego. Oh Jesus, who are you talking to? It was deep that there. It was deep, deep as this fucking fist. <laughs> in the anus? Yeah, <laughs> that's where I keep my ego. To. <laughs> there's a new movie just invented. The double post driver. Meet in the middle. <laughs> Up the hole, down the hill. Squash like, yeah, like, like an accordion. Like a towel. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny's boys are a prodigy. You've never seen anything like it. You're actually lucky you're the first person I'm going to do it to. <laughs> <laughs> By the oh. way, Mickey, I'm a, I'm a big fan of yours now. I really am. I love you to bits. I love you like me, brother. Do you have a brother? No. Nope. <laughs> I ate him in the womb. <laughs> and you were three months old at the time. <laughs> I left something in it. I always forget something behind it. <laughs> oh, boys. Oh, boys. Is that, when are you moving out of Fenton, right? No. <laughs> well, I don't know if we will be able to show our face after next week. But oh. I, I mean, I, I, no, I'm just saying, uh, as a real big hypothetical, what if... There's a there's an upset because the underdog story is always there and and Mickey being an underdog what if he will what, we what be allowed this is Rocky two not Rocky one yeah what if he actually knocks you out and I mean are we locked out of the studio then Fenton or what's the story are we allowed back then underdogs the here boys what's the contingency plan like? are put down by lethal injection <laughs> that's all stray dogs was done down here and the Chinese down there was flat out <laughs> so you know there is no underdog story <coughs> just underground story. Do you like a wee bit of stones in your grave, or do you want it curbed? <laughs> I have a number for a man, McGovern, and there more does not <laughs> He'll do you a cut, you deal, I went to school with him. Could you get an Audi TT made out of marble? <laughs> just, just to set on the front of it. Is that like not to... what they're made of? <laughs> <laughs> Two mailer? I'd like to light a wee candle mm-hmm. and put it on to the... What the fuck are you out. helping them for? Oh no, I'm... <laughs> Candle's lit. I know, but uh, you know what I mean, when you go Aye. and visit. I'd like to have a wee smoke at the grave and have a wee... People he's, know. He's got me. Like he's convinced me. People are attracted to winners. <laughs> you can. I'm, I was like a race, son. Shane walking in there. That man has been in the shade of your <laughs> d- disaster and depression. You're a cloud of despair, Mickey Bartlett, and you're bringing everyone down with you. <laughs> and you don't agree with me that I'm doing everybody a good turn. <laughs> I'm swinging more towards that now after this whole... I mean, the press conference has been an opportunity for us to see the insights you've, of what's you've going on. You've a front row seat hmm. to the diabolical things this man has been saying for years. And you can't tell me that Kevin Hart wouldn't agree with me? <laughs> <laughs> he paid me fine and well. I didn't even do a gig for him. So when Hollywood celebrities <laughs> know what's up, because they know a paedophile when they see it. <laughs> eh? <coughs> Tom Hanks may as well be sitting beside me. <laughs> Come down, you boys. I'm pulling no punches from there. You know, I used to bite my tongue, not anymore. No You'll be biting yours. <laughs> Swallowing it? I'm just going to raid you to badness. 
I don't want to see you bait, Mickey. I want to see you die. I want to see you just not wanting to go anymore. <laughs> the next time I see you, I just want to have you just feeling like, oh, I need to go for a shower. <laughs> In the middle of the day. You don't want that egg and onion sandwich? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to have to bring this press conference to uh, a close. Um, well, look, before we go, in the spirit of the things, we all know it's a bit of crack. And we all know, you know, we're just, it is for charity, it's for a good cause. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very and, true. Uh, you know, win, lose, or draw. I'm very glad I took part. Because it has been actually a lot of fun training and stuff, and no better man to do it with. And with that being said, I got you a wee gift. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's not much, but you know, I will go easier on you than I'm letting on, which is still a right bit. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Right. Close your eyes. Right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. They're closed. Just for the lock of days <laughs> when you get out. <laughs> a wee cane A wee, <laughs> very a wee walking custom, stick custom and everything I got flowers That's lovely <laughs> The same flowers I'll send you in the in the Gavin <laughs> So no need to thank me That's very it's kind of you uh, It's just the kind of person I am Hold it the up f- there <laughs> Hold it up Oh lovely <laughs> Well, it's the developed. fucking it's the flick <laughs> oh okay so uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen if you have you tickets are you going on tour anytime no I'm done you fucking <laughs> just, <laughs> just do that for an hour do that for an hour <laughs> I, I might just do, you come around to my house every night <laughs> uh, well, somebody right. has to sort out your belongings <laughs> <laughs> after the whole thing oh fuck so if you have tickets oh. for uh, Saturday, the boxing, the 11th. <laughs> <laughs> be there or be square. That's it. You've been warned. <laughs> That's King Carney away. <laughs> I don't oh my know. god! I don't even know if we spoke three words. I don't think I opened my mouth over all. <laughs> Fucking hell! Right, we're gonna go now, and uh, I don't know if we. If, if, Mark McCartney is on tour uh, <laughs> on the thirteenth of February. The Herschel will go up in the main street first of all. <laughs> taking it right. I had to wait until he left before I started slacking him off. <laughs> oh, thank you very much for listening. Thanks for being a patron. Go and definitely, definitely go and watch that fucking match. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, we're going to do questions now, and hopefully McCartney has calmed down and <laughs> the aggression's got out of him. But yeah, thank I gotta you go take my cane for a spin. See you later.